know you've been back to town several times, but what were your thoughts today, sort of pulling into Guelph, pulling into the arena here, uh, getting ready for this night? Yeah, you know what? It was exciting. I think uh, given the opportunity that I got here to come back in here and uh, have my number going up in the rafters, Rick side Jeff, and then uh, I took my kids where the old Memorial Gardens was and kind of revisit a lot of memories and seen a lot of familiar faces. It's been uh, an outstanding day. I only had the opportunity to play with Todd the one year, but um, there's a lot of memories. He was, uh, he was a man playing with boys, and he was uh, a real special player to watch. I knew he was drafted first round of the Islanders at the time, and just the leadership qualities that he had on the team, I knew um, he wanted to be a winner. He was here from day one, and they built a team around Todd. He went number one overall in the year that Todd Bertuzzi went fifth overall. And so obviously, Todd, that it must have been a fun time for you two guys in that day. Uh, talk a little bit about this day as you, the honor Todd in, in Guelph. Well, Detroit must have screwed up because my jersey's not getting retired. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've known Todd for a long time. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, real happy for him and his family that this day can come. And um, we battled lots over the years. And uh, he went on to have a... You know, great, great NHL career, and uh, you know he's uh, he's done a nice job. Maybe what was your time like uh, playing with Todd? I was interesting. You know, I came from uh, Detroit. We had a uh, powerhouse team in Detroit, and uh, when I came here to Guelph, I wasn't sure what to expect. And uh, uh, they were an up-and-coming team, but they were they were built around Todd, and he was a powerhouse. And uh, we all pretty much, uh, if Todd played well, we won the game. So we all kind of rode his back. You even mentioned your roommates with him on the road. Right? Give us some yeah. good Todd stories. Well, I mean, I, I just played a couple years with Todd, but uh, Todd was uh, he always very nice to me and uh, just such a beast on the ice. Um, broke, broke my thumb in practice one year, hit me from behind. Um, but you know what? I enjoyed uh, practicing against him every day. I mean, when you're practicing against Bert on one-on-ones down low, the game seemed easy during the year, right? Yeah. But uh, I would say just, just an amazing athlete. Um, big, fast. Um, I just, I just remember Sean Brown when we beat, we swept Belleville one year, four games to none, and I just poor Sean Brown had to take on Bird every game, and um, just Bird had him on his back, and he was in on a breakaway and scored, and I just, just couldn't believe what a, what a player he was really. You were the GM 1991 when he came in as a 16-year-old rookie, fifth overall. Uh, maybe take us back to that year and, and your your thoughts of uh, that time. Well, you know, the credit really goes to Mike McFarlane, our head scout, and Perry Olivier, our northern scout. Uh, I just came on a few weeks before the draft when the team was shifted to uh, Guelph. Uh, I had an opportunity to go up and watch Todd and Walden and what they called the Northern Ontario Camp. And uh, I had one look at him, and I said, he looks pretty good. But it's really these two gentlemen, okay, Mike and Perry, who uh, st stood up and pounded the table for him. And frankly, he was one heck of a pick, and uh, it's great to be able to honor him here today because his contribution to storm hockey was uh, certainly very special give a hand to mr kelly and uh to craig hartsburg i think uh i went from a 15 year old young immature kid that didn't really uh know much about the game and i left uh and became a professional and ended up playing 20 years so it's a tribute to uh, uh how they uh brought me up through the ranks in the years and uh, i'll be forever uh, thankful for that